Visibility parameters. A visibility parameters is when we allow us to have multiple views of a block. So let's say we draw a car. We can have the top view, uh, the plan view. We could have the side view or the profile view, or we could have the front view of the car, you know, in the plan view. So we can have many different looks of a block in one block. Um, so, for example, we would draw in this case the entire, all the variations of the views that we want to see. In this particular case, we have um, all the different line work that will make up four different valves. A gate valve, which just is a bow tie, and it would not have the dot or this upper line and, and arrow. We could also have a regulating valve, which is the, the bow tie with the dot in the middle, not with the arrow up here. We also could have a check valve, which eliminates then this diagonal line and it eliminates the donut in the middle, and but we keep the top part up here. And then a butterfly valve is just the two sides with the one line and the donut, eliminating the other diagonal line in the top. So between all of them, we can make four different uh, valves out of these lines. So we can create a visibility uh, parameter, which allows us then to have four different views of the block. To do this, we're going to go into the block editor. We're going to select this block called valve. And now we're in the editor. We need to assign a visibility parameter. If we come over here, we have block authoring palettes. They have four different tabs to it. Um, so we need to go over to the parameters. We go down the parameter list, we go to visibility. And we go to the visibility and we pick on it. And it'll come over here and it'll ask for a visibility location. And so it's where do we want to put the little um, marker that says what kind of valve do we want? I'm going to pick right here and it gives me a visibility um, uh, label here and at this point um, it gives me a grip in which we can grip it and it also gives me a name visibility um, so visibility 1 and we'll go with that for now and all we need to do is simply is to close the block editor and save the changes to the block.